Our world is rife with secrets and mysteries. The more we learn about nature of land and sea and everything in between, we also learn that we don't know much about the world. From amazing creatures to man-made buildings that leave us in awe in the present day, there is still so much that we are trying to figure out and understand about our history. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at mysterious and ancient discoveries. Scientists are investigating warm caves under Antarctica which could support secret life. The world is often full of surprises, but one you might not expect is if I told you that in some parts of Antarctica it is warm enough that you would need only a t-shirt. Well, according to Dr. Keridwen Fraser, there is a place just like that. Antarctica's Ross Island is home to Mount Erebus, an active volcano. It appears that over several years, the steam from the volcano managed to hollow out caves under the ice, producing a network of surprisingly warm caves. Dr. Keridwen Fraser from the ANU Fenner School of Environment and Society says that a forensic analysis of soil samples in the caves revealed a number of unexpected DNA samples from algae, moss and small animals. She said that it can reach up to 25 degrees Celsius in these caves, making it comfortable for small wildlife. Furthermore, in areas where the ice above is thinner, some light peeps through into the caves. While most of the DNA was quickly identified as plants and animals we already know to be elsewhere in Antarctica, not all the DNA could be matched up. This means we could potentially have new species of plants and animals living beneath the ice in Antarctica. Fraser's co-researcher, Professor Craig Carey from the University of Waikato in New Zealand, says that the previous research has shown different bacteria and fungi have been in Antarctica's caves, and he explained that these findings did not rule out the possibility that there may be more plants and animals also lurking within the caves. Unfortunately for us, these underground or under ice networks are not the most accessible nor the easiest to explore. Yet we do not even know just how many of these cave systems exist, just that an exciting possibility to uncover new life is present. Ice Age Art Discovered in Amazon Rainforest What experts are calling the Sistine Chapel of the Ancients has recently been discovered in the depths of the Amazon rainforest in Colombia. Spanning almost eight miles of cliff faces, the paintings make up the largest collection of prehistoric rock paintings to be discovered, and as they are over 12,000 years old, can tell experts a lot of valuable information about what life was like for the artists of the day. The humans that painted these images were one of the first humans to inhabit the jungle-dense area and painted the life around them and that life was totally unlike the jungle of today. Depicting long extinct animals such as the mastodon, which hasn't roamed the earth for at least 12,000 years, the paleolama, the camelid, giant sloths and ancient ice age horses, as well as animals that are far more familiar to modern man like fish, turtles, lizards and birds. People dancing and wearing elaborate masks as well as handprints and designs also feature prominently in the cliff drawings. The paintings were discovered by a British Columbian team led by Jose Iriati, a professor of archaeology at Exeter University who was blown away by the sheer size and area of the paintings, which number in at least the tens of thousands. Iriati has described the experience of getting such a glimpse into the way the world looked over 12 millennia ago by saying, we started seeing animals that are now extinct. The pictures are so natural and so well made that we have few doubts that you're looking at a horse, for example. The Ice Age horse had a wild, heavy face. It's so detailed we can even see the horse hair. It's fascinating. Although it's not clear whether the paintings were sacred in nature, Iriati believes that they do depict humans worshipping or performing rituals around some of the larger animals. The paintings also contain indications that the topography of what is now a dense rainforest jungle was much different when large mastodons roamed the area. Based off of initial impressions and the resources that would have been needed to sustain such enormous life, researchers believe that what is now choked with trees and vines once resembled more of a savanna ecosystem. 
discovery of the paintings relied on penetration into an area of the rainforest that had previously been hostile territory as FARC guerrillas, who had been engaged in a long-standing civil war with the Colombian government, controlled the area and nobody dared to risk entering. However, after long periods of careful negotiation, the team was able to brave the region for exploration and found such an amazing hidden gem that one can only wonder what other clues lie hidden behind that tangle of vines. Hawaiian Island Vanishes of the Face of the Earth Nobody expects to hear that an entire island has gone missing. But when it comes to the seemingly unshakable landforms that we have become so used to surrounding us on the planet, there are certain land masses that are not just built to last. Eventually, even nature can succumb to nature as its time comes to a close. And for a Hawaiian island, that time came sooner rather than later. East Island, which was nothing more substantial than an uninhabited mass of sand peering above the ocean waves, has finally succumbed to the waves that continuously lapped at its fragile surface. Recent United States Fish and Wildlife Service satellite images show the shocking before and after of the entire island being wiped out due to the powerful storm surges caused by Hurricane Wallaca in 2018. And although the island, which was fairly small at around 1 km long and 120 meters wide at its largest point, was not inhabited by humans and slipped almost unnoticed beneath the sea, it will be sorely missed by the ecosystem that it was a part of. Scientists are concerned about the impact that the disappeared East Island will have on endangered monk seals, green sea turtles and seabirds, all of whom relied on the sands of the island for dry, protected nesting grounds and resting locations. East Island was part of the protected French frigate shoals in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands, which makes up the Papahanaumokuakea Marine National Monument. Despite its relatively small size, East Island was the second largest island in the shoals, which collectively make up the third largest protected area in the world. However, Hurricane Wakala shed light on the sobering fact that protecting an area from human alterations does not mean that Mother Nature could ruthlessly exact her vengeance on the landscape at any point. In fact, the circumstances which saw East Island disappear forever are expected to only increase in the coming years as climate change grips our planet ever tighter. The fate that Easter Island succumbed to is not unique and will likely only become more and more common as climate change continues to drive rising global temperatures, raising the sea level and threatening many such low-lying islands across the globe. This recent disappearance, although incredibly concerning and alarming to researchers, is not necessarily a surprise. Dr. Chip Fletcher, a climate scientist working with the University of Hawaii to perform research on the island, had already predicted the East Island had only a few decades left at most before it sank below the waves, and his predictions were driven to an early fruition by the vengeful Hurricane Wallaca. I had a holy moment thinking, oh my god, it's gone. It's one more chink in the wall of the network of ecosystem diversity on this planet that is being dismantled, said Fletcher, who has long been concerned with the effects of climate change on low-lying but still ecologically vital land masses like East Island. He said in an interview with HuffPost that this is not surprising when you consider the bad luck of a hurricane going into that vicinity and sea level rise already sort of deemed the stressor in the background for these ecosystems. The probability of occurrences like this goes up with climate change. For now, scientists continue to study the devastating effects of climate change and rising sea levels, which have now already shown with East Island how devastating they can be for even the most unassuming of land masses. But what do you make of these incredible discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.